So now we're on phase five of the home business video training, which is the website. We understand our domain name, we understand we need hosting, we understand we need a niche, we need keywords, we now need to put the thing together with content. You can't do that until you build a website. So this part of the series is going to show you how to design, construct and build a great looking website. And we'll go straight into that now. So the layout of a website has basically four elements to it. Okay, there's slight variations on different websites and the way things are, but as a basic rule and a rule used by everybody, just altered in their own little way, is to have four separate elements that make up a web page or a website. The first one is obviously the top bit, which is the header. We have the column on the side and there's a column on this website on both sides it still counts as one, it's a column there's the body which is the middle bit which is where the copy goes and there is a footer which is this bit at the bottom some websites you'd see you might see a block across here to completely separate the footer but nevertheless as a basic requirement you should have a footer you should have the main body, which is where you put your content. You should have a way of navigating so people can see things, which is your columns. In this case, as we said, there's two. And you should have a header. And they're the four basic elements that you need to set up a website. And then what we do then is we show you what each part should do and how you make that the best that you can. So the four elements should do certain things for you. Some things you can decide what they do, some things you should do specifically for the reason. So the header should contain branding, <coughs> which is not necessarily a logo, but a branding could be something that's specific to your industry or something that you've come up with. You know, not everybody wants a website that says where to buy the best, skiboots.com. Somebody might want some kind of branding. You know, people are, are fast understanding that website shouldn't just be keyword rich that they should contain some kind of branding so that wouldn't necessarily be a logo you want your domain name or your company name which again could be the same things some people put a search bar in and many people put banner ads in which is probably where you hear the thing banner ad blindness and that's what's starting to happen to headers which we'll go into more as we study one of these individually then we spoke about the columns, which can be one or two, left and or right, of the side. Obviously, the nav bar is the most important thing. You can't really have a website with no kind of navigation. Some people do it across the top, but generally, nav bars go down the left or the right-hand side. It's a great way to show other pages in your website. It's also great for keywords, for the search engines and the bots to pick up on what your website is about <clears throat> and of course it gives the visitor a quick way to get where they need to get to which is an important thing just to keep people interested email capture some people put a capture box in their column um, we'll discuss that whether we think that's good or bad again banner ads someone who's promoting their own products or promoting other people's products columns have become a place especially with blogs where banner ads are spending a lot of their time. You can put images in there that link in or out of your website and the same again videos and the power of videos you start to see a great deal of videos inside columns again especially with WordPress being as important as it is. Then there's the body. The body is the most important part as far as SEO is concerned and the human being and we'll go into that really deep, as deep as I can take you, because that's simply the most important part of the design of the website. And obviously your content goes in there, content being any kind of the medias that we decide to put there, which will be images and videos, and obviously written content, and of course links, both internally and externally, going from page to page, and going from website to other website. And the footer. Again, the footer acts pretty much the same as a header. It's a way of showing the, what the website is, who it belongs to, 
that kind of thing so again branding and logo some people put their branding down the bottom some people put their domain name and their copyrights the company name again is a thing some people put search bars down there it's a great way to, if people are not quite sure they should leave your site we'll talk about that more in detail again when we get onto the footer section banner ads again some people think just before they're leaving if they check your whole page out you just might catch them with a banner ad and links again for keyword reasons and again for people to make quick access to certain pages on your website so that's the four elements let's dig in deep and show you some examples of that right now so I want to run through the header and the footer really really quickly I want you to understand how important they are and what their job is so I want to do them really quickly and then I want to move on to the column or the columns and explain them to you and then on to the middle bit which is the body the copy and do that one and spend more time investigating why that's important to us but I want to tell you something before we start as far as the search engines are concerned that's the robots that come into your website they don't care how your website looks they don't read videos or at least they don't read videos correctly and they don't read images correctly they basically take what information we give as an alternative text which will explain in a, in a wee bit but basically they only see words letters sentences they don't and colors because we explain what the color is in the tag but they don't actually see images okay so we're not trying to impress the search engines with the way the website looks if this website header here had nothing on it whatsoever and I mean seriously nothing so it was completely white like this but the alt tag to this was the alternative tag that we tell the robots for the search engines said dogbreedsexplained.com which is the name of the website that they'd be happy they don't care what this says they don't care about the colors of this they don't care about these images the way they look okay they just see what they see I could tell them this is an elephant as far as the search engines are concerned their bots are not intelligent enough to know that that's not an elephant it's a dog okay I could say that this Labrador here was a fly and they would have to believe me because of the alt tags okay so we're not trying to impress the search engines by spending loads of money on headers or footers or anything like that you can keep that as plain and as simple as you want as far as the search engines are concerned the same with the footer what the search engines want to see in a footer are keywords because the last line that they go out of is down here okay the robots come in the top of your page went through your web page and then came out down the bottom so some kind of branding some kind of copyright some kind of keywords is all you need down here again it doesn't need to have anything else on there it's your decision what you put but do not try and impress the search engines or other people because you're impressed with what you do keep it simple okay don't overdo this don't overspend the money they're the only two things you need to concern yourself with those kind of things as far as the header and the footer is concerned all you need to do as far as making the search engines happy is make sure that it's keyword rich as far as the visitor is concerned you need to give them something they need to come in and see instantly what it is that you're trying to do instantly who you are what the kind of things you do and that's all it needs to do because the truth is most people do not come in and spend too much time examining your header and what you do they're more interested in the middle bit okay people have started to put banner ads or adsense ads or something here to make you want to click away in here and in here and it works in certain niches and it works by certain people because they know what they're doing but what's starting to happen is people are seeing so much of it so much junk and crap on either side of the header or even in the middle when it's promoting something something flashy something to make them leave your website or to go somewhere specific and people are getting blind towards it so you need to experiment with that you need to know for sure that you do not want to baffle people with too many links and too many clickies and too many flashy lights okay so keep your header and your footer simple that's all you need to do so let's wrap this website training video up here as part of honest own business video training because I want to spend more time on the column and certainly a great deal more time 
on the content so it's less important you watch that video so check out the links underneath and you'll get that but what I want to show you now is John's treasure chest okay this is where you can get some serious training and some serious learning getting on where you can actually get out there and make some real money okay you can take great advantage of the content at honestownbusiness.com both video and written but the true essence of the best part of this website is John's treasure chest the free gold okay which is exactly on the right hand side of the video you're watching now you'll see the join now button and you can get all this and get it now and that's true the video training the video courses the reports the ebooks the business training all the free advice free software free tools and certainly much much more it's not just the video training this is a protect protected site this password protected you get to register once you've registered you get access to everything that's there so I highly advise you get on over to Honest Own Business if you're watching on a video sharing site if you're on the website well you should be there already just click the join now button you'll go to a registration page within John's treasure chest from there you'll be able to watch a video and understand what it is you can take advantage of it's vital that you spend your time at the early stages of training in a place where you're not going to get ripped off there's no mail going to turn out in the post and say hey guess what here's an offer no back-end products this is completely free you go in you take what you want you spend as much time as you want there and you come away okay nothing to buy get in there and enjoy yourself get in there and make the first strong step these videos you're watching are good but there is much better and I'll see you in a few moments just click the join now button